Hello everyone, in this lecture we will learn how to detect and calculate trees using Deep Learning in ArcGIS Pro. So here in Google Earth Pro, I want to show you the area of interest or my working area. So here inside this boundary, we will see how to detect, calculate trees using Deep Learning in ArcGIS Pro. So first of all, so you need to add some model and some tools to ArcGIS Pro that you have been installed on your desktop. So here in this website, Lightning Atlas of ESRI. So in search box, so type deep learning package and click on search button. So once you do that, so scroll down to find tree detection. So, so this model tree detection. So click on and click on download. So this deep learning model is used to detect trees in high resolution drone or aerial imagery. So once you download this model, so go to Google and in search box, type deep learning libraries for ArcGIS. So you click on search button and so go to GitHub website and click on. So click on GitHub website and scroll down to find download button. So here you have the archive of, of, of all deep learning library installer for ArcGIS Pro. So it's depending the version you have been installed on your desktop. So download the version suitable for your ArcGIS Pro. So you download and install it. So once you do that, so open ArcGIS Pro. So let's do that. So I already created a project and I added a, a satellite image, imagery that contains some trees that we use it to calculate and detect, detect them. So let's now add my working area. So in feature or shift file, so select and click on OK. So let's So to start using deep learning, so go to analysis and click on tools. So to open the toolbox, so click on toolbox and navigate to image analysis tools. So find image analysis tools, expand it. So you expand it, and then you expand deep learning and click on detect object using deep learning. So click on. So click on detect object use using deep learning. So click on and then so input or add raster so the image and after that so if is optional so if you want to to define or add other output so you click on browse and to find or create a folder where you want to so after that what is in series so here to 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 add the model definition 
so import the model so click on browse folder and uh, navigate to the place where you save it to model so which is do tree detection so so navigate to the folder and so select the model and click on ok then wait a little bit so here the process is calculating some arguments so to fill some or to add some values then go to environment so click on environment and here you define the output coordinate system which is the same as the image I'm, or raster i'm using for extent here i want to calculate the tree inside the polygon or my working area this one and so for here for cell size so you can keep it maximum of inputs but here I have the cell size of my raster, which is the 0 0.1 meters. And here processor type, so select, select the processor type you are running on your desktop. So we have CPU or GPU. So for me, I'm using CPU. So if you are using GPU, you have to to add the ID identification of a GPU. So for me, I'm using CPU. So let me select CPU. And after that, click on execute or click on run. So run the process. So now wait till the process finishes. It will take likely bit time so it's depending the scale of your if the area is big or small so it will take likely bit time so here is the result so let's uh, make now color for this polygons and here modify the boundary uh, just to show and make it the trees clear inside to the polygons so let's explore a little bit the result before start calculating or uh, to see or opening the attribute table so as you see here I, I think that give a good result so so as you see here so you have all the trees so for the small polygons so you have the small trees so all is existing so wow so now before calculate this so you, you, you we need to clip the result so because we have some trees outside of this boundary so to do that so you go to toolbox and uh, find tool click on, in find tool click on clip so click on this one clip and the input feature which is to this one the result and clip feature so my working area so and click on run good So now to know the number of trees, it is simple. We will just open the attribute table and you will see or or you will have the number of uh, polygon, polygon existing in this file. So as we have here, 858 polygon. So as you can select team, as you see here. So as you can use the statistical tools in toolbox and you can select uh, you can calculate the trees and the surface and the number of uh, trees so uh, 
So that is you can do it so in, 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 in statistical tools. So thank you for watching and see you for next video.